It's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to the week of love. <laughs> okay, so today is Tuesday, February the 11th. <laughs> and here's Bailey. So Friday, like I said, is Valentine's Day. So every day this week, I am posting a new DIY video for the week of love. Yes, and I love you too, sweet girl. <laughs> so today we're going to do a lantern topper for Valentine's Day, because like I said, I have not decorated yet, so even though it's Friday, I don't care. I'm now going to do it. Okay, my sweet little girl, you've got to get down. I love you, but you got to get down. Okay, so this is a lantern that I got for $3 at Michael's because it was clearance. I don't even remember. It was like completely wrong season. So I got this for three bucks. Three dollars. All right, so let's make a lantern topper. So I'm going to use my Dollar Tree ribbon to start with. So I'm going to use two ribbons from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm also going to use my Buffalo Check ribbon that I got from, uh, it's Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I can't remember which one. But, so I'm going to use these and then maybe these two little ones. I've also got some greenery out here. This was 97 cents from Walmart called boxwood then I've got some hearts I've got my hot glue glue gun <laughs> plugged in in case you know I do add all this stuff but let's get to it all right so I'm gonna cut these open real fast these are nice brand new so we have plenty of ribbon to work with okay so first off that off. Now, where they had it folded, it's got like a, like a permanent little crease. So I'm just going to cut that real fast. Now, I need 24 inches. So, I'm going to take my ruler, start at the top. Okay. Now, I'm going to bend it over one time. That makes 24 inches. So, I'm going to do my cut. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dovetail my ends together. Okay, line up my two ends, fold it over, and I'm going to cut down. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, I'm going to do two of each ribbon. Okay, so once again, 12, that makes 24. Cut it, line my ends up, just makes it a little bit faster. And then, once again, I'm going to cut it down. Okay, so I did two of this one. Now I'm going to do two of this. Let's see, I'm going to get rid of that crease that they did. kind of wish they wouldn't do that because it wastes some ribbon. Okay, once again, I'm going to measure out. There's 12. Forward it over. Makes 24. Okay, give that a little cut. Now that everyone's getting ready for Valentine's Day. So do you all do anything big for Valentine's Day? This year it's a Friday. So do you and your significant other, <laughs> do you all like go out for dinner? Do you do anything romantic? We do not usually. <laughs> it's like, you know, we just like to be home with our kids. This Friday actually is a no school day for my kids. It's like a teacher service day. So their kids are out. My husband has to work. But we're just going to hang out, do their gifts. I'll make a big dinner. So. <laughs> we're not really romantic people. <laughs> Love my husband to death. But we're just not like mushy gushy romantic I don't know we're more like goofy aggravate and tease each other <laughs> but you know he always brings home like you know flowers or candy or like strawberry covered chocolate strawberries strawberries covered in chocolate you know but I don't know I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather go shopping in Hobby Lobby than have like expensive flowers Do 
did this and that. Alright. This should be my final cut. Okay, so I did two of each ribbon that I chose. Bow all of them cut at 24 inches. I'm dog tilling the ears on all of them. Okay, and here's where you need your roller again. Lay that flat in front of you. You're going to take your ribbon, fold it over, make sure it's all lined up. You're going to lay it down, and you're going to measure out the 5 inch mark, pinch it together at the 5 inch. That way you're going to have a 5 inch loop. Okay. So I'm going to pit that between my thumb and pointer finger, and I'm just going to pinch and hold it. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of the other ribbons that I cut, same thing. Get your ends all lined up. Okay, and measure out your five inches. And you're going to pinch it. Now, because it's not printed on this side, you're going to move your front one out of the way. You're going to take this back tail and give it one little pinch and twist. Okay? So now, both ribbons are bright in the same color. So now you're going to take that same little pinch and put it right there with your other one and just get them all fluffed open, fluffed up. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to, once again, five inches, inches. <laughs> I'm going to pinch it right there and as I'm pinching it, I'm going to move this front one out of the way. I'm going to take this back tail. I'm going to give it one twist. Okay, that way now they're both colorful facing forwards. I'm going to stick that right there in my thumb too. Okay. Now if you're okay and you can keep holding this, do it. If not, you can take a clothespin from Dollar Tree or a, like a chip clip. And all you got to do is while you're pinching it, stick that right there and it's going to hold it for you. You can sit this little bundle out of the way. Now your last three that you have, once again, pick up any order. You can do it any order you want. Five inch mark, pinch it. As you're squeezing, pinching it together, take that back tail and twist it one time towards the front. That way you have two colorful ones facing forwards. I'm going to tuck that right there in my thumb. I'm going to fluff it. I'll take this one. It's the same process every time, just five inch, pinch it, take that back, oops. Take that back tail, give it one little twist towards the front. That way you have two colorful ones facing forwards. Okay. Once again, just fluff that in your thumb while you're holding them. And then my last ribbon, five inches is normal, and I'm going to pinch it. Now this, I don't have to worry about it because it's printed on both sides. It does not matter. So I'm just going to stick that between my thumb. Now, I'm just going to fluff these. Alright, now, the bundle that I have pinched together, I've got this in my hand. I'm going to flip this upside down, and I'm going to attach them. So you're going to have loops at the top, and now because I turn this, I'm going to have loops at the bottom. So loops at the top, turn, have loops at the bottom. Put them together between your thumb and pointing finger. Take out your clip if you're using it. While you're holding it nice and tight, use your pipe cleaner, Chanel stamp, pipe cleaner, whatever you call it. <laughs> okay, so I'm holding this nice and tight. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm just going to wrap it right there in the center of that bundle. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to push all that forwards. So basically I'm holding it like this. Get those kind of even. So as I'm holding that, holding that, I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist it as tight as I can quite a few times. Alright, now it's just a matter of moving and twisting and fluffing. Just get everything the way you want it. Now the good thing is because you used that pipe cleaner and you got it as tight as you could, you can now move these ribbons around anywhere that you want and they will stay. It's not going to come apart. 
There we go. And like I've said before, always use wired ribbon if you can because it's so much easier to use. Because regular ribbon is just flimsy and it won't stay for this. However you bend it, it's going to do it. Okay. So just keep fluffing. See how full it's getting? You're just going to play with it. If you feel like you got too much black right there, then just twist that. Move it. We get some red up here. I've got mine nice and fluffy. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my lantern topper, and I'm going to take this, here's the front of mine, and I'm just going to wrap it around it. Give it a couple of good little twists. Some tight little twist so it stays on there. You see how pretty this is? As is. You know, you can flip it and just leave it like this or we can add more to it look how pretty so pretty I'm doing all this backwards <laughs> all right let's see doing that just for a minute so I can see it too pretty that already is. Now if you wanted, let me open up this pack of these picks. Yeah, you could hot glue you a couple down in here. Just to kind of do something like this. You know what? Let's just kind of go with it. We'll just play and do this. Don't want that little. Well, let's see. It's kind of put you some hearts. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, you could just hot glue these right in here, right into the bow. Okay. Let's see for a minute. So now that we've been fluffing with it, you can take some of these hearts on these little picks and you can just hot glue you some anywhere that you kind of want. Let's see. Let me. Yeah, let's just try it. Okay. I got my hot glue gun plugged in right here. I'm just going to put hot glue all over the bottom of this. And all I'm going to do is just gonna stick it right down in there. Just hold it until it dries. Alright. I mean, sometimes you just have to keep playing with something. You know, get it how you like it. See what you like. Too much, not enough. Let's see if we can get that to go back down in there more. I'm just going to hold it into a dress. And hopefully that's going to stay. <laughs> Let me hold that just one more minute. Alright, now I'm just going to take some of this greenery. And I'm just going to pop these little heads off. Just pop off a couple little heads. Pop off three little heads, and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk around so I can see what you're seeing. That way, we're looking at this together. Okay, so it's so pretty. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little greeny right here, right here, so I can cover that stick. Just putting some hot glue on there, and I'm just going to hold that right there. Hold that into a dress. Alright, I'm 
and let's do a little hot glue on this one. And let's stick this one right there. You can just stick these wherever you want. You know, just make sure you hold it, you know, so it gets a nice, nice good hold. Or it dries. Some more glue on this one. Maybe stick that one about right in there. But already, it just looks so pretty. Look at that. Maybe right there. Yeah, let me do that one. Got my hot glue gun, my cordless. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, just gonna hold that until it dries. Uh, it's like slowly falling down. <laughs> it's like, okay, stay where I tell you to stay. Okay, that's all right. Let's see, do we want a white pickup here maybe? I don't like this, see this little bow on here? So I just keep popping my heads off. I'm gonna pull that off there because I don't want that on there. Well, the other ones came off really easy. Yeah, and now I'll just stick my little head back on. Alright, maybe like this one up here. I don't need this big old tall pick. Just gonna break that. Let's see what that would look like up there. Do we want that one there? And then you just wanna fluff. You know, once again, just keep on fluffing. Yeah. Move stuff around. Nothing is permanent. You can do whatever. Keep on fluffing, changing. But yeah, that's just a very pretty lantern topper. With the majority of everything from Dollar Tree, the greening is 97 cents from Walmart. But if you're lucky, you know, some of the Dollar Trees are getting their little greenery picks in, which I have not found yet, so I use this one. And just some of the hearts. That looks very, very pretty. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think? I think it's very pretty. Just another cute, beautiful little Valentine's Day DIY for the week of love. All right. Yeah, knowing me, I'm gonna keep messing with this. <laughs> But for the most part, I love it. I think it's great. But, alright. So, that is it. We're uh, two days in. We got three more to go. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. And I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.